Hi everybody, my name is Megan. And my name is Helena. And we're from Emerge Mentoring, and today we are super excited to share the launch of our Emerge Together tank tops. We think they're so cute, we're so proud of them. And we wanted to discuss today a little bit about where the Emerge Together hashtag and movement came from, uh, where it started, and how we have evolved it to today. Yeah, so we started Emerge Mentoring back in October and right away had the hashtag Emerge Together because it was a part of our vision that this platform would be a free online space for entrepreneurs to come together and get really great free business tips to connect as a community and that through joining our page um, together we would help elevate one another, elevate our experiences of being entrepreneurs and that there would just simply be a lot of value in stopping by Emerge Mentoring. Yeah, and so when COVID came about, we were really inspired to maybe think about ways we could connect with our community deeper, especially because it would be more social media based, less workshops, and of course not in person at the time. Um, so we thought about what products could we create, and that's when the notebooks came and these tank tops came, which are available to shop on our website. And part of our inspiration was also to make sure they were locally sourced and that we could be more conscious consumers in the process of um, production and getting them out to you. Yeah, and even helping to support um, a small business throughout all this has been really important to us. And we also see that like our community, people are really passionate right now about supporting local and helping people through this time. And beyond just that, you know, people being more mindful and thoughtful for how and where they're buying things. Mm -hmm. There's this whole other larger movement where we see people virtually connecting in the most amazing and creative ways because social distancing, I think has been a lot more challenging than a lot of us anticipated, you know, not having, that closeness that you're so used to getting with your community and people but the ways in which that people are emerging out of that difficult situation and still finding ways to come together is incredible yeah like we have discussed how we're searching for moments of joy or things that bring us happiness and that's part of where the tank tops and the notebook came from it's something simple but it, it just being able to open my notebook and take notes just brings me happiness or look at this tank top and throw it on it reminds me that I'm supported that I have small business owners and Helena and I have you guys on here that support our dreams and our mission that we get to support each other in that way and that joy means so much more than I think it did before and looking for it every day I'm doing it more than I did six months ago because just that little bit of like like love in my heart makes me feel really good it's been so nice to see that so many entrepreneurs aren't just sitting back and waiting for this time to be over because I think it's pretty obvious that we're going to be in this situation for a while that the you know the pandemic is not going away and we have to uh, step up we just have to step up and find ways to keep offering people joy or creative space to work creative space or creative outlets to feel and express their and emotions it's so refreshing to see so many people openly talk about mental health issues, things that they might be going through right now, and also talking about larger issues that are going in on in our culture and our society. Yeah, the Black Lives Matter movement was really big for both of us. It gave us the opportunity to step back and do more education, but also to look at the leaders in our community who are sharing content and who inspired us. And it just takes a merge together to that whole other level where we're who else can we support? Who else can we reach out? How can we build our community? And how can we, at the same time, support people who um, need more space to process? Like, and, and it takes me back to when COVID first uh, started, when we were like, oh, people have families and kids and they're still working from home and being more considered of their home life um, instead of them being stuck in their office. I think we're way more lenient, more flexible. And it started with people are in their homes, but now it's like we're more lenient of their emotional capacity, what their mental health's like that day. And I think that's a really beautiful thing to do. It shows we're really evolving as humans. Yeah, like the awareness piece, yeah. especially with Black Lives Matter, of stepping back, especially as white women, and listening. Um, now we're listening, like, no one left behind through this shitstorm. Yeah. <laughs> Step back, everyone listen, be more reflective, see what people are going through, and we're going to hang on through our virtual mm -hmm. uh, platforms as hard as we can to one another to emerge out of this as a collective, like stronger, more self-aware, capable, compassionate, educated, forgiving, kind people, and also empowered people. That, you know, we're finding our ways through this to step into ourselves and 
hopefully a better, higher version of ourselves. Emerge is really passionate about making this a platform to help continue to facilitate that beyond just being an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, I want to also share a couple of resources that have been really inspiring us. Um, so for me, I found um, a woman named Danielle Laporte. She's um, a spiritual teacher. She's also a business teacher in some ways. Um, but her podcast specifically in this time have been really helpful for me when I talk, when I think about uh, mental health, emotional capacity. She's also an advocate for um, Black Lives Matter and equality. So it's been really nice to get and receive teachers from her that I can learn from. Um, so that might be a really great resource for you to also do some digging into. Yeah, and I've got two that I'd like to share. Um, if you're really interested in educating yourself more, especially in terms of Black Lives Matter and representation and societal oppression, um, Robin LaCumbre has a wonderful workshop called Sharing Privilege. Uh, she's in Hamilton, which is great to support one of our local entrepreneurs as well. We've both done the workshop and it was incredibly valuable for having um, a deeper understanding and awareness for what privilege is and how we can share that. That's a whole other huge topic we could get into. And then easy and flexible, I just watched something on Netflix. It was the coronavirus explained. Um, multiple levels of like the fear and uncertainty that we are constantly living with that we're embodying and not sure how to process because it does feel so foreign. And these are all like kind of like, you know, buzzwords we've heard before, but it was refreshing for me to listen to it again. You know, we are still living in a global pandemic and the toll that that takes on our mental bodies and physical bodies, but it also gave really good reminders on like, wear a mask. That's gonna be our best way through this time. Mm -hmm. Support people, be compassionate to one another. It gave a whole episode on coping and yeah, so it's on Netflix and it's called um, Coronavirus Explained. I thought it was pretty interesting. And yeah, our tank tops are on our website under shop. We hope we can again use the hashtag Emerge Together so we can move through this time as a community. Yeah. We'd love to continue this conversation as well in the comments. So if you have any other resources you want to share or even just other things that have come up for you in the past months that would promote this conversation further, um, we'd love to chat with you. Have a great day. Emerge together. <laughs>